Welcome to Frontline News from the University of Maryland School of Medicine News Center. I'm Larry Roberts. Coming up, what happens when children don't get enough sleep? And medical students reflect on the importance of the white coat. But first, Dean Mark Gladwin hit the ground running during his first two weeks on the job. Meeting with School of Medicine and hospital leadership, students, donors, and alumni. In his first week, he flew to Atlanta and delivered an address in conjunction with the National Medical Association, the largest organization representing African-American physicians. He also met with FDA Commissioner Dr. Robert Califf and Baltimore venture capitalist and UMB Distinguished Scholar Luke Cooper. Later, Dr. Gladwin addressed first-year medical students and met with their families during the annual white coat ceremony. During the ceremony, first-year students are presented with their first white coats, which have long been the symbol of physicians and scientists. So to me, the, the white coat symbolizes a calling. A calling is more than a job. It's a sacred embrace of service, optimism, and humanism. We will feel and experience and do everything we can to make that positive dent in the universe. Embarking on a career in medicine can allow a person to fully engage humanity in the most ennobling ways, drawing on the human humanities, drawing on sciences and even business. Donning your white coat symbolically indicates your entrance into a sacred and ancient fraternity that will mark the rest of your lives in a way that no other occupation can. The class of 2026 will face an array of generational challenges, ranging from post-pandemic disruptions to gun violence and climate medicine. You all have grit and resilience, discipline, intelligence, but you're also humanists, confronting challenge with integrity, grace, and compassion. You do not simply accept this current world order, but want to step into the trenches and correct healthcare inequity and fight for social justice. Josiah Hardy. Students accepted their white coats with humility and a sense of responsibility. The white coat ceremony to me is a big statement of the privilege, the immense privilege of being able to enter the medical field. There's a lot of people who may have the qualifications to enter this field, but don't have the resources or the support or maybe even the money to afford an application. I volunteer a lot in a uh, free clinic where over half of our patients were Latinos. Um, and it was very exciting to see people who, like me, moved to the United States later in life and had to navigate a whole different system and how they felt very happy to see someone who they recognized on the other side. And I think that this white coat will signify one step more of me being able to help them. I think it's also a reminder that the coat is, whether on or off, it's, it's a responsibility that we bear um, to ourselves, to our, our friends, our peers, and most importantly to our patients. In our discovery segment, a new School of Medicine study is showing what happens when children don't get enough sleep. Children who get less than nine hours of sleep may experience cognitive deficits, depression, and anxiety along with problems with inhibition control and school performance. For human beings, we spend nearly one third of our time on sleep. Uh, for the young children, definitely sleep is uh, critical. For example, uh, you know, their brain secretes the growth factor, right, the most during sleep. Dr. Wang and co-author Dr. Fan Nils Yang were able to observe differences in certain regions of the brain for kids who didn't get enough sleep. They focused on the areas responsible for memory, intelligence, and well-being. At the baseline, we found that the insufficient sleep group, uh, they have you know, smaller brain volume, gray matter volume, and they have changed uh, like function connectivity and the structural connectivity, as well as you know, the, uh, you know, other measures. Inadequate sleep was linked to difficulties with memory, problem solving, and decision making. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends that children under 12 get 9 to 12 hours of sleep every night to promote optimal health. And that's Frontline News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry Roberts. We'll see you again in two weeks.